This is Nine News. Good morning and welcome. I'm Gemma Gunning. An Australian man and his British partner who fell to their deaths from the top of a cliff in Portugal have been identified as a couple from Perth. Nine's Gabrielle Boyle is there. Gabby, such a sad story. What more do we know? Gabrielle Boyle reporting there. Thank you. Well, winter has well and truly arrived with some of the coldest weather in two years expected to hit the country's southeast this weekend. A severe weather warning for Adelaide with heavy rainfall and battering winds to sweep right across the region before heading east. Victoria is forecast to re receive a month's worth of rain over the next week. Freezing overnight temperatures could see up to a metre of snowfall in some areas. The cold front hitting its peak on Sunday. Police have released these images of a man they wish to talk to in connection to the murder of a young woman in Melbourne. The man was wearing a grey hoodie with the letters MX on the front, blue jeans and dark shoes and was carrying a blue backpack. The man was spotted on security footage in the area around the time the woman's body was found in Prince's Park in Carlton North early yesterday morning. The second day of a fresh search into the disappearance of William Tyrrell will get underway this morning. Hundreds of officers and forensics spent hours yesterday digging through three square kilometres of dense bushland on the New South Wales mid-north coast as they ramp up their investigation. Police have vowed they will not give up on the little boy who vanished near his grandmother's Kendall home over three and a half years ago. A young child and an adult are fighting for life in hospital after they were pulled unconscious from a burning house in Perth. Firefighters were called to the home in the suburb of Thornley just after six last night and found the occupants before performing CPR. The fire was extinguished with crews monitoring the scene for hotspots throughout the night. Arson investigators will inspect the house later this morning to determine how the fire started. A zoo in Belgium has welcomed a lively bundle of joy, a new baby giraffe. Twigger was born on Sunday and is already standing at two metres tall. The youngster was said to be on his feet in just 20 minutes after being born, hopping and galloping around his enclosure. Twigger is the sixth calf of his mother, Barbie. Taking a look at the weather around the country in Brisbane, it will be a mostly sunny day reaching 23 degrees. Sunshine in Sydney reaching a top of 19. Canberra, the chance of a shower and 12 degrees. Similar conditions in Melbourne, 14. A late shower in Hobart, 13 degrees. Windy and showers in Adelaide, 16. 19 and mostly sunny in Perth, mostly sunny and 31 in Darwin. Coming up this morning, the new test for migrants being considered by the federal government. Plus, the record-breaking cattle dog, how much did this kelpie sell for? And what designer Stella McCartney said about creating Meghan Markle's dress for her wedding reception. Let's take a look at the front pages in Sydney where Call for School leads the Telegraph. Up to 1,000 public schools will be fitted with air conditioners around the state. The Australian reports the Turnbull government will consider a mandatory basic English language requirement for all new permanent resident immigrants. And Sinbin is the advertiser's headline with South Australia to force priests to break confessional secrecy to put the safety of children first. You're watching Nine News Early Edition. These these are our top stories. Some of the coldest weather in two years expected to hit the country's southeast this weekend. An Australian man and his British partner who fell to their deaths while taking a selfie at the top of a cliff in Portugal have been identified as a couple from Perth. Police have released images of a man they wish to talk to in connection to the murder of a young woman in Melbourne. And a young child and an adult are fighting for life in hospital after they were pulled unconscious from a burning house in Perth. Time to check in now with the Today Show. What's coming up this morning? Yeah, we've got plenty, Gemma. Good morning to you. Time to batten down the hatches while mm. weather is on the way. Find out how your state is going to be affected. Also, we're looking into a big issue on today's agenda, how women can achieve financial security. Don't miss Dickie's big verdict on one of the most anticipated sequels of the year, The Incredibles 2. And we meet the sweet seniors sailing the world one cruise at a time. That's all coming up, Gemma. Thanks, team. Still to come this morning, all of the day's sports news. The NRL star in line for a possible shock return. Two big names set to bring some spark to Richmond. 
And one Wallaby's journey from online sensation to green and gold. Taking a look at the weather and around the country today, in Brisbane mostly sunny, reaching 23 degrees. Sunshine in Sydney, reaching a top of 19. Canberra, the chance of a shower and 12 degrees. Similar conditions in Melbourne, 14 degrees there. A late shower in Hobart, 13 degrees. Windy and showers in Adelaide, 16. Tomorrow, Brisbane, sunny skies and 24 degrees. Sydney, a bit of cloud, about 19 degrees. Showers in Adelaide, 15 degrees. Perth mostly sunny and 21 degrees. Sunshine and a very warm 31 degrees in Darwin. That's all from myself and the team this morning. It's now time for today.